gotta check it out inside. <laughs> 28, 29 BHL. This is it. Yeah, you got your sink. It's a full size. I'm 6'1. Bed for the most part. I'm 6'1. This is heavy, by the way. It's not light. This is very. You can put bikes, kayaks, traveling. It would be cool to mount your screen here, but this is doable. Even the graphics. Even... Specs out, but we just want to show everyone the vibes of the Cougars. All right, we're at Three Way Campers. Hello, everybody. Haven't seen yeah. us in a while. Yes. We've been pretty busy. But Very. we're gonna go check out some new 2023 Cougars that we've had our eye on. So come on. Yeah. She says she's a little cold. I'm a little cold. So I'm excited about the sun being out. <laughs> right. It'll warm up. So we are in I think this online it said they had it here. It's a brand new 2023 Cougar. 29 BHL. BHL. So it's like a bunkhouse uh, in the back, and the bunk converts to a desk. And we are uh, thinking it is a perfect setup for us, but we have to put our eyes on it. Um, we don't buy sight unseen. Yeah, I see the Cougars. They're brand new right over here. That's a small one. Cougar. There's one in the back. What do you think? You think it's this one? I think it's this one. 28 BHL. 28, 29 BHL. This is it. Alrighty. So, look at this thing. Let's just start on the outside first, right? You have your outdoor kitchen. Perfect, right? A little extra beverage. Your outdoor shower. I like it right here at the door. Most of the outdoor showers are always on the back side. Yeah, it's weird. That's kind of cool. I'm telling you, the setup on these new Cougars have been pretty awesome. All right. Storage. Magnet locks. Big door. Look at that storage. He has an inverter, I'll show you in a little bit, but you can get to all the electrical components. It's a good sized bay. And then this is the in command water heater, that's right. And you have satellite. I like it, I like the space. Then, of course, you have your propane, has 230 gallons. This big bay. Get that other one. All right, so this is your spare tire, which is awesome. You can even get to your jacks. Batteries, you have plenty of space for more batteries. You can build like a whole setup here. So easy access, woo. Those locks aren't locking. Easy access. Here is your water station. Comes with the inverter, electric leveling, another propane. They say half ton, and it truly is. It really does seem like one. Um, these doors, I tell you what, these hinges right here are solid that is a lot of support and pressure it has one drain and it's not under the slide and it's not under the slide all the tanks are inside you don't have them floating down i'm telling you this one this one's nice and even the graphics look at the 
There's your outdoor lights. And check it out inside. <laughs> of course, you got your awning, outdoor speakers. It does have the cool new handle. This is awesome. This it's a little bit smaller than I thought. And here, but just looking at that master, and what I know is in the back that we're going to show y'all, there's space where it counts, it looks like. It really does. So, this is bad. big baseboard up here. That's huge. You got the Furion fridge. Um, one of the things they said about this, that they, some of the walkthroughs, they had the door the other way. So when the slide's in, you couldn't open the, uh, when the slide was in, say you had to put groceries in, the door was the opposite way. So you couldn't open it. It would hit right here. Um, but they switched it um, through customers talking about it. And now you can have the slide in, come in, still put groceries in. The only thing you can't do is get to the master. Um, and the bathroom. And the bathroom, which is, you know, I know a lot of people have a certain, you know, you want to be able to get to the bathroom, pull off on the side of the road. You just have to be strategic about that. Um, but what do you think about this dining space? It's kind of like right when you walk yeah. in, you run right into the table, huh? Right, yeah. That is a little bit of a bummer. But... You don't have to have it here. You don't have to... Of course, you have storage there. Your storage underneath here, too, yeah. But the cushions are comfortable. They are? Mm-hmm. I feel like you could get rid of this table and put a smaller table in, and then it wouldn't feel so, you know, cramped when you walk in, maybe? Yeah, I mean, this also folds up. Yeah, because this is another, like, couch area. Or, I mean, you could put a table here. No, I like the... I don't want a table there. No. I want to be able to watch TV from right. straight across. I don't want to be doing this whole thing. All right. You get storage up here. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of... Yeah, you got your sink. I like it. It's, a, it's separated, but this isn't high. Yeah, I like so that So you can too. still have, like, it can almost rest your pans and stuff when you have to. Nice hardware, too. Um, got your outlet. This is kind of cool too because it's not tile. Mm -hmm. It looks it, but this is just a it's like a, like a plexi board. board. That is a cool design though. This drawer is missing one of the uh, slides. Tracks. Oh wow! Well. Interesting. That's a big one for pots. It's got, it's got a lot of storage. Yeah. Okay, so. Not a lot of counter space. It looks like uh, heat and everything is not on the floor. Everything comes through um, yeah, is... the wall. There's another <laughs> heat duct right there. You come up here, you got the handrail. And here's your bathroom. Got good towel storage, very deep. I can't even touch it, uh, the back wall. Let's do the shower test for me. <clears throat> Fit fine. Yeah. And then you like this I like, seat. I like having a stool. Yeah, this is nice. Not that I would be sitting down, but I like would. to prop your leg up. Sometimes it's nice. This is another thing we like is this sliding uh, chuck. That's a legitimate. That's nice. It'd be a lot to clean. Yeah. You know, but it's stable. It's not one of those cheap ones. You got your drawers. How are y'all? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. Y'all find everything all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've had our eyes on this one for a minute. I got you. Good size closet. 
I like that little nook there. Yeah. I don't know what you'd put there. I'm just like a basket of stuff, probably. Oh. Uh, good storage. So this is, I like this little step up right here. Yeah. And I know a lot of you don't like carpet, but I kind of like carpet in the bedroom. Um, when it's cold, but this feels roomy. You know, a lot of these fifth wheels, they feel nice and tight. But like, you could easily have a corner TV. Yeah. And, um, and I can sit up here. Yeah, yeah comfortably. Yeah. That's nice. This is not, I mean, this is good space. Okay, so this is about sticker, looks like $59.99. That's what they want for it. This is one of the main reasons why we really like this unit. This back rear bunkhouse that also converts to an office. Um, I like this design a lot. I don't know why other fifth wheels, they always just put a weird bunkhouse. RV companies really need to start making models for virtual work because it's a real situation <laughs> for a lot of people. But come around, swing around, you got your ladder goes up you got sleeping quarters up there that can be storage until you have a kid uh that wants to sleep there and then you have a whole guest bed right here it is kind of snug um when the bed's down yeah when the bed's down but i mean this is a full it uh, seems like it's a full size i'm six one bed for the most part i'm six one and i mean i can sleep back here easy Easy, easy. It is kind of weird that they have the door right here. Well, it's it's so that you can also use it for, for storage. storage. It's just, I would have to do some type of internal lock, you know, for a kid or something like that. Or right. You'd have to, I personally would want that secure. But let me show you the magic here. So, this is heavy, by the way. It's not light. This is very sturdy. Comes up. It locks right here, and look at there. You got a desk, so you can have a chair. So, like we said, this door give you some light here. You can put bikes, kayaks, traveling. As soon as you do this, you have this underbelly right here. We're thinking litter box, shoe storage, whatever. Outlet, USB ports, then they pre-drill poles for wires on that so, side and, on, the other and side. on that side so and then this is chalkboard no it's not it is no it's not it's just black i think it's chalkboard it's not. um all right circle circle around come in I here know, i think we need a piece of chalk tested out yeah let's draw on something <laughs> we don't know and then it has this sliding door now you do still have all RV doors. This space down here is probably for airflow, and this looks like you'll really have to keep an eye on it and not be jerking this back and forth because I would imagine that could loosen up. But, um, like, look at this. So you'd have a desk right here, a chair, and this is where you would work. Yeah, I, I don't know, what do you think about working in this space? It's enough, you know, your chair, your chair would be right, you'd be right here. Um, you have that stool, you want me to grab that stool? Yeah, yeah, let's get that stool. This is probably why this is here too. Uh -huh. um, I would have a more supported chair, but yeah, you, I mean, you would, it would be cool to mount your screen here because if you're going to be converting this back and forth, it'd be interesting. Because it you'd have your laptop, two screens. But this is doable. You know, and it's even nice here, like. Yeah, having that door open. It'd be cool if there was a pool shade here. Mm -hmm. Like you see, like, on our little guy and stuff. Yeah. Because then, but I bet you this magnet locks. And look, look at the space. I mean. <laughs> You can just 
So on a gorgeous day, sitting in the mountains or the beach, <laughs> you know. It's pretty versatile. Yes, that's the nice thing about it, is that it's versatile. So, yeah. And it has two locks, actually. There's locks up here, too, so it's nice and secure. And this is, this is legit. I like that space down there. So the other aspect here is you have this ladder, um, and you have some cubby storage right here. That can be, that's a lot of storage, too. That can be where kid clothes go. Or miscellaneous dog food, cat food, and then you have it back here. But this is legit. It slides in. And dim that dimmer control and lights. Oh, that's nice. And it's right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can that's just. That's convenient. Um, so these only work electric. Which is kind of annoying because then you have to be set up to power to be able. Well, the to... nice thing is that this this model has the 400 yeah, so sol could. solar. So every outlet with the yellow sticker yeah. is you can you have power when yeah. the solar's on. Yeah. So you're when you you don't have to be hooked up to shore power. Right. Now this outlet down here is not doesn't have the yellow sticker, so these may not work. Uh, the, I mean, it comes with a great, great big TV, right? Um, a lot of these TVs, it does swivel out a good bit. I personally want one of the swivels where I can then bring it down. Because mm -hmm. um, you're always like looking up. Overall, what do you think? I don't know. I, mean, I wish this was a little bit bigger. And it probably feels small because of this. I almost want to like move this and get, take it out and see what it looks like. All right, show you how this table comes undone. There's just a quick little latch right here that you just pop out. And then do that latch. Just put it down. It's coming right down here like that. So this is how you can convert this. And then these two extra cushions and you have a whole nother sleeping headquarters and a hangout spot put like a fitted sheet or something mm -hmm. over this whole thing yeah to keep but it. you can like leave it like this too and just have like a big hang area right we've always eaten with like tv trays and stuff on this you know tables i mean you have that table but like with the door there's options you, yeah. you if you wanted more space when you first walked in you could remove the table yeah actually a floor oh this should this one's a little bit longer i think yeah this is how they want it to be and then you could put like a fitted sheet like we talked about and have like pillows and so when you come in, you know, you are, every RV has a trade-off, right? Right. So with this one, with the back office slash bunk room, you're getting a little bit less living space. Right. It does I mean, have... it does open it up a lot. Yeah. And I want, what are, what are those things for? To strap the table to. Oh, when you're traveling? Yeah. I see. But what you could do here is have, I mean, they have this ottoman, right? But what you could do is get one of those ottomans that come oh. up like another mm -hmm. desk and eating thing. So it's a compromise. Or, you know, you could take all this out and put in... A whole different dinette yeah. system here. Right. You could you could build a uh, an island wall and have stools. Right. It just all depends on it, it's yeah. 
You could customize it if you wanted to. Yeah. I mean, you'd have to move that air duct. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, who's to say you can't open this all up even more? But I feel like you just figure out a certain way to eat better. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. I mean, it would be a bit of annoying to move this in and out just to eat dinner. Now, one thing I am noticing is that this one doesn't have the pantry. The pantry? The big pantry that's usually by the refrigerator. Oh, is that just on another model? That... Maybe so. I thought yeah. that this floor plan had it, but I guess yeah. not. So what do you think, y'all? It's pretty cool. We have our eyes on this one. But I mean, this is a good bit of pantry yeah. right here. It'd be cool to have a flip up board here. Yeah, I think they probably didn't do that because of the, when it, if it's up, you couldn't really, it would be a tight squeeze. Yeah, it's just if you needed it. Right. Of course, you got your fireplace, CD player, USBs in the kitchen. That's kind of cool. I wish there was like a charging nook. Um, here's your in command hot water heater, water heater, battery heat. Don't really understand what that's for. That's to um, keep the batteries in the... Oh, that's cool. So if it's cold. Yeah. I wish they had like a little nook. I would almost... I don't know. You could hang your keys and stuff. Maybe on this wall. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. We could do something here. Yeah. You know. All kinds of little, little places. So yeah, we like this Cougar. Um, the 50 amp is in the back. Fresh water connection. And let me show you all. As you go up the ladder. This is your roof space. And they already have the two solar panels up there, but look how much more room you have. You could line this thing up with uh solar and the two ac units good contender what do you what, what does everyone think about this model for us put some comments on this video and let us know so they also have the new 320 rds and for people that are out there in the rv world you know about this couch yes. in this kitchen it's an awesome couch uh look at this it's like the biggest, biggest couch you can get, I think, in an RV. I think so. This folds out. We've already been playing in here. This folds out to like a full bed. Super comfortable. You have fireplace, TV that comes up, storage galore. This table slides. This table slides back and forth, which is kind of nice. Got storage all up here. Look at this kitchen, everyone. Isn't that nice? I only want 75,000 for this. Big old fridge. Pantry. Views, look at those views. Could you imagine the Arizona sunset or the Florida Keys? Then you come up here, you got your bathroom, big old master. This would be your closet. And I have a washer and dryer hookup. This could be converted as well. Bedroom slide. This could be a workspace. You do something here, maybe as a workspace too. This is a great setup too. It's a little bit bigger. Involve a better truck pulling it, but she loves this. The televator. Televator, yeah. But she likes this couch, huh? I love that couch. This would be my spot right here. Yeah. This would totally, I would just live here, right here. It's good. It's a lot of space, man. It, feel, it feels like home when you're in here. You can easily 
enjoy yourself in this one. Mm -hmm. Ideal. Yeah. So check this one out too. I don't know the tanks and all that. I'm not going to put all those specs out, but I just, we just wanted to show everyone the vibes of the Cougars. Yeah. So these are the Cougars. So excited to walk through them. We've been Finally. waiting, like uh, I've been waiting for like six to eight months to walk through some of these floor plans that they have. Right. Um, we didn't show all of them, but we just wanted to quickly show that to y'all. We've been super busy this season, the fall. Um, I had a lot of issues with my editing software, so I didn't get a lot of videos out. I know everyone's been kind of chiming in saying, where's your, what have y'all been up to? Um, I try to re-edit a video and load it like 10 times. And so I got frustrated and just put everything down, but I figured it out. We're back full speed. We have a new season coming in. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Join the road. Join the road.